Summer is officially here. So if you could hear my air conditioning, it's hot. Bear with me. Good morning. So we will talk about Stolen by Lucy Christopher. So this is her first published book. I think this was in 2009. It is also a 2011 Prince Honor Book Award. My camera is against the window and it's a little, no, it is cloudy outside so I may look white and then back to my brown skin in different frames. So back to this book. According to her website, she wrote this book basing from the experiences she had when she was young. This is influenced by her personal life. Also from her website, uh, she said that when she was 9 years old, they moved from Wales to Australia. Hence the Australian outback setting in this book, which uh, she felt similarly as being kidnapped. She felt entranced with how Australia felt and how Australia looks, but also she felt repulsed with Australia because at the age of nine she considers Wales as her home. She used both these feelings, uh, being repulsed and being entranced by Australia, to write about Gemma's feelings for Thai. This book is about Gemma who's 16 years old and Thai who's uh, 21? Early 20s. The story is written in a second person narrative so this serves as Gemma's letter to Thai. We know a meaning of a word but do we really know the meaning of a word? So let's define Stockholm Syndrome. With a simple Google search, we learned that the Stockholm Syndrome means feelings of trust or affection felt in certain cases of kidnapping or hostage taking by a victim toward a captor. Upon reading this book, I realized it dawned on me that a word is just a word until you feel the true meaning of that particular word. Way, way earlier, I made a book review about Forbidden. I'll link uh, the video in the description below. But in that book, I talked about um, incest and how I felt about incest before reading that book and after reading that book. With Stolen, I actually felt the same with Stockholm Syndrome. I had a different view about it before reading this book and I had a very different view about Stockholm Syndrome after reading this book. Lucky for most of us, very lucky for me too, uh, we do not need to get kidnapped for us to feel what it feels like to have Stockholm Syndrome. When you read this book, you will at the end of it feel like you have it. You will be with Gemma all the way and just like her, I definitely felt like I have it too. And you will not be able to explain it. Exactly how having Stockholm Syndrome feels like. You have to finish the book to understand 
exactly what I'm talking about. Same as with the book Forbidden, you are left with this feeling of acceptance and confusion. You feel confused about how you feel for Tai because you know what he did was wrong. You and Gemma, you as a reader and Gemma as the character are taken against your will. What he did was illegal. And yet, you will find yourself upon finishing this book that you accepted Tai. There is a feeling of acceptance for his character. You accept him as a person, as how he is, and you separate him from his act. You separate him from what he did. From him kidnapping Gemma, from him doing that illegal act, from this good-natured, gentle Thai. Explaining that to you now, that's how you get, that's how you understand Stockholm Syndrome. But, if you read this, that's when you truly understand what and how it feels like to have Stockholm Syndrome. And that's the beauty of this book. As her first book with this much impact, I actually want to read the rest of her books. This is my first and only Lucy Christopher read. So I cannot compare her next books from how she wrote this. But as a first book, this is pretty good. The creative writing is flawless. This could be a recommended reading for creative writing students. I mean, you put something, you place someone in a bad light, and then at the end of it, you know he's still bad, you know he's still wrong, still in the end of it, you kind of see him in a good way. Hearing myself talk about Stockholm Syndrome sounds like exactly I think what I think. How having it sounds like. I am all over the place. I hope you find the time to read this because it is a very different and rare experience. I have not read something similar to this other than Forbidden, where you are left with a confused feeling about a taboo idea. I'll leave my Goodreads review also in the description box. And have you read this book? Tell me if you have read this book and share your thoughts with me. Or if you're planning to read this book, I suggest you read it as early as possible. Put it up your TBR pile priority list. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!